Definitely want your life here or see it's your time. Chosen one, the game is on. Your people are watching. And play the game and duel with all your honor and might. Demo Lego, we need you. Well, it's about that time. Let's get the show started. Hello, everyone. Today we are taking a test. 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 This is the test. 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 Okay, we're going to start with the old WWE theme. Ah. So, this is a trend that's been going around. That is, uh, what makes you the ultimate waifu or the ultimate husband? Now, I'm looking to, uh, a raw do this for myself. Because I want to show y'all, like, how much of an absolute man-child of a future husband I could be. <laughs> Oh, that doesn't sound right, but you know what? Screw it, we're going with it anyways. So let's dive in head first. Without further ado, let's see how good of a husband I really am. So, question one. Who do you want to rate as a husband? I want to rate myself. I want to rate someone I know. I want to rate someone. I want to rate myself. Yes, please. Uh-oh. That just happened. Ah, uh, give me a moment. <laughs> Ooh, I guess it's gonna be happening a lot. I'm gonna have to like mm, edit out some uh, blank spots. So next, I really hate. Okay, here we go. Maybe that did it. The husband publicly praises his bachelor days and regrets having been married. Um. Huh. Okay. So, either publicly praises his bachelor days and regrets having been married. Okay, so for one... If you're in a true loving relationship with someone you consider your uh, true love, you should never have regrets. Uh, this is a tricky question. Those who regret it obviously have not found Mrs. Wright. But uh, those who do oh, oh, and have found Mrs. Wright Those who haven't found Mrs. Wright regret it. Those who do have found Mrs. Wright never regrets it. So, it, it, it's a mixed bag on this one. It really is. So, if I found Mrs. Wright, we got married, I would never regret it. Next. Brings... Uh -huh. The husband brings a guest home for meals without warning with his wife. Okay, so one, I would never bring home some random person that I just met, possibly at a restaurant, whether it be male or female, and we just kicked it off. For me, that's a huge no-no. But if it's a personal friend that we both know and we've come to appreciate, and it's somebody that's always welcomed into our house and never wronged us. I would have to say. And we're just going to keep it where it's at. We're going to keep it in the middle because like this is like this is too inconspicuous of a question to be answered because the innuendos are there. It should have mentioned that brings home an unknown guest without warning and you know to have a meal at, with your wife so uh i'm not gonna dignify an answer we're gonna keep that in the middle so reads newspapers books magazines out loud with his wife depending on the book 
or the magazine, or even the co uh, comic or a manga, your wife will definitely want to know what you're reading, and they want to be engaged. So, obviously that is import important for have your uh, woman knowing, you know, what you're into, what you like, uh, the hobbies you have. So, level one, no, we're going to go with often, because, like, a relationship has to work both ways, obviously. And your woman has to know what you like and what you dislike for the relationship to work out. So, yes, uh, doing this and having them, obviously, uh, know what you're into is important. Um, uh, your wife should never have to go behind your back to find out, find out what you like. Or desire or stuff like that, obviously. Next. Frequently compliments his wife for cooking and housekeeping, etc. So, if you get a wife, obviously, that doesn't know how to cook, but you do, you know, that that's fine. But, if you have a wife that also cleans and possibly does the baking, yes. This definitely puts them in a good mood. It makes them feel happy and proud. They they get a sense of pro uh, iota of pride and happiness. So, uh, yes, that would be often. Has a date with his wife at least once per week. Um, really depends on your income, like how much money you make. Obviously, how, do you have transportation? Uh, at least work in transportation, obviously, uh, your budget, the income you make, and everything, so, has a date at least once per week, obviously, this is a tricky question, so, I'm gonna put it in off, next, belches without an apology or blows his nose at the table. So, I mean, that is hugely disgusting, disrespectful, and if anything, just overall, just wrong. Um, you should always apologize. You should never, ever forget without saying, pardon me, excuse me, I'm sorry, you know. And sometimes if your wife likes funny jokes, follow it up afterwards like, oh, I'm sorry, um, pardon me. It, it was just like, obviously, the greatest male just saying, hi, remember me. <laughs> so, uh, yeah, you should always apologize or say something that uh, obviously shows that you uh, made a mistake and you didn't mean for this, you know, gross insubordination to happen at the dinner table. Rather be breakfast, lunch, or dinner. You should always be that of someone of integrity, class, and tall. So, yes, that's very important. Helps his wife with the dishes, caring for the children, and scrubbing. Definitely, yes. If the wife can't get something done, and she's having a hard time with the dishes, or the children, or just obviously, like, cleaning something like a you know, the floor with, like, a mop or something. Of course, the man has to step in and go, don't worry, honey, I'll take care of this overall huge stain on the dishes, or I'll take care of this overall, like, huge scuff mark on the marble floor, or the tile floor, or whatever floor you got. And the children... So a father should always have a, a overall a positive influence on their children. I've always believed this. 
especially when it comes to the internet. If you would ask me at one time in my life, how would I handle my children on the internet? I would I would have told y'all in my early days, I would wait until the era after the age of 13 to let them have access to the internet. Uh, now, I would have to have more of a constant monitorization over the child on the internet and make sure that they have a decent time schedule. Now, obviously, if they get in trouble, you take away the computer, and, uh, you know, you just need to make sure that they don't get that toxic attitude, such as Harold 7 on the TF2 platform. I'm talking about you, Harold. One of the biggest assholes on the freaking, like, Final Fantasy MVM servers. And I can only imagine how single he is. So, uh, helps his wife caring for the children and scrubbing and cleaning the dishes. Number one priority. Uh, at least one of them. Is a steady worker and a good provider. So the man should always bring home the bacon. He should always bring home the money. Rather, it's like you're an online celebrity and you need to get things done. Or you're like out there, like, you know, plowing the rice fields. And, uh, or like, obviously working in the food industry or, you know, like a government industry like police, uh, emergency responders, of course. Uh, or even that of the Postal Service. You know, just bringing in a steady income for your house and your partner is very important. And you should always be able to do that. And this is where also backup plans come important. Because if you lose your job, you should always have a second source of income while also having that of a backup plan to uh, put into effect for, obviously, when you lose one source of income, you have another plan to get at more. Uh, very important. Gives his wife an allowance and turns his paycheck over to her. Okay, now this is a difficult one. Now, if you can trust your wife with the money, yes, do so. But if your wife is definitely horrible with, like, handling income, such as uh, paying the bills on time, getting the groceries, you know, making sure the kids have a, some kind type of, like, toy if they are good in the market, like, supermarket or even places like Walmart, or obviously, like, if they're good, yes. If they're bad with all this and just end up blowing it on useless junk such as you know things just for themselves and not pay the bills not overall like overall just just do what you trusted them with and they just abuse your trust like this you shouldn't allow it but if they are good with the income and they know how to handle it, and they know, oh, overall, this stuff needs to get done, then 100% you can trust them. So I'm not going to dignify this with an answer. We're going to keep it in the middle. Stares or flirts with other women while out with his wife. Okay, so I've seen this in uh, so many restaurants that, Obviously, a boyfriend or a husband's in uh, on uh, him and his wife are out in a restaurant. It's either them or they're with their kids, and they start taking looks at other women. And um, so for me, this is a huge no-no because uh, red flags everywhere. The red. It starts out as crimson, then it turns the red, and then you get blood-soaked red, obviously. And this is what ends up making a wife start questioning your love and loyalty. And then, uh, well, London parts from France, and a divorce comes in between the family's romance. So, uh, you, if you have Mrs. Wright, 
or you're just married in general. This is something you do not do. And this is entirely wrong. So, uh, you should never flirt with other women while out with your wife. Or flirt with other women in general. Because women have this instinct superpower to tell, uh, wait a minute. My husband's senses are tingling. I smell him with a bitch. So, uh, yeah, you should never do this. Fails to come to the table or promptly when the meal is ready. Really depends on the family dynamic of the situation. So, obviously, if you have guests over, and it's not just you and your wife and your kids. Like, if you have guests over, this is a tricky question, because if you don't come over promptly... Is a huge disrespect to your family and your uh, guests of your family. So, like, being clean, proper, and prepared is important. When you have guests over, or, like, it's just you and your wife, and you just want to have just a romantic meal together. And the kids are asleep. So, uh... Negative one. Um, consults his wife about opinion on business and social affairs. Oh, 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 boy. The number one terror at a relationship. So, uh, social and business affairs. I'm so glad they didn't add in uh, that of a political debates. Um... Yeah, we're going to go with this one straight up. Doesn't call when dinner is... Doesn't call when dinner is late. Uh, yeah, you should always call your wife when you're, you know, like, working overtime or you're, like, at your locals and, like, the tournament is in overtime. Or even more so, like, you're behind schedule. You got to get some things done in town. You should always call your wife to reassure that yes you are safe you're getting things done you're gonna be a little bit late please wait for me to come home sweetie i promise i will be there as soon as everything is done you should never have a reason not to call your wife when you're running late so you should Obviously, he always call her, so yes, you should never er, do this. Is a good conversationalist. Okay, so this is a tricky question, number 15. So, if you're in, like, someone that loves you and you love them, and, like, obviously, y'all can carry a conversation between the two of you, that you're into, like, a lot of the same things. Y'all have a lot of the same, like, thoughts, ambitions, and, and just hobbies, obviously. If you're able to carry a good conversation with your one true love, yes, th this is... You need to be a good conversationalist, but if I'm a good conversationalist, it would have to be with my one true love, and rightfully so. So, uh, I would definitely put this in green middle, uh, green one, so. Is courteous to his wife and friends. Okay, so this is a mixed bag. Now, obviously your wife can have, uh, good friends and bad friends, and they will always have a certain opinion on your husband. Obviously, you should be kind, but if they, if your wife if friends talk trash about you behind your back, your wife should also defend your honor where you don't have to. So you should always be kind. And if her wife's friends get out of control, you should leave it up to the wife to deal with her friends and scold them and just auto-correct them without needing auto-correct. That's very important. 
they're your wife's friends, so you have to be kind to them. It, it's, it's in the contract. It's in the contract. All right? And even if they talk shit about you, you let the wife handle this. All right? All right. Especially if the wife can handle herself, because uh, if she can deliver a roundhouse kick to, like, some big old jock's head that talks trash about your husband, you really don't need to take action, because uh, she can end up knocking him the frick out. Leaves the dresser drawers open. So, this shows poor um, organization, let alone cleanliness. Um, I have been guilty of this, but I try to do my best to keep everything closed and organized in my dressers, even with like, like my freaking Yu-Gi-Oh card dresser. Good Lord. Obviously, that's very important, especially with Yu-Gi-Oh players. So, uh, yeah. You should always try to strive to improve and uh, be a better and cleaner person. Not only on the husband, but the wife. You know how it is. Remembers the birthdays and anniversaries. Must, must, absolute must. Even like three, you got a six date anniversary, of course, if you're dating. You got a three-month anniversary, obviously, when you're dating. You got a six-month anniversary. Then you have your marriage anniversary. You also have that of the uh, anniversary of your... Or, obviously, you got to remember her birthdays. And same thing goes with yours. She's got to remember yours. This is an absolute must in a relationship. If you don't do it right, you're gonna be like, you're gonna be sorry, and rightfully so. Reads the newspaper at the table. So, dinner table. Uh, no, you, you shouldn't do that. Reading the newspaper at, like, the... Uh, Dinner table or breakfast table or lunch table? No, uh, you should always save that for the living room or, like, obviously somewhere else in the house. Even the bathroom. Even the bathroom! You should never do it at the table. Criticizes his wife in public. Leaves his shoes in the living room. I mean, if your wife's okay with it, yeah, sure. Yeah. But if she's not, you shouldn't do it. So, uh... He's gonna stay in the middle. Leaves his car out for his wife on days she may need it. So, you... When you're in a relationship, you should not only have your own car, but your wife's car. But if y'all just have one car, and she needs to go somewhere to get groceries... Or obviously, you're like medicine for the kids, or even for you, you know, she should always have access to the car, even when on days she will need it to get stuff done. Uh, very important, yes. Very, very important. You can always catch a ride with like a fellow co worker that you truly trust, or just get an Uber or a taxi. I don't know what to tell y'all. So, uh, yeah, very important. Is polite, mannerly, and even more er, alone with his wife. So is polite and mannerly even alone with his wife. I mean, if these days, women, uh, this is important, not only in public, but also alone with your wife, but with like your set mood of romance and everything. It's not wrong to talk a little dirty, make a little, make some jokes in the bedroom, you know, like some sexy boy jokes and like, oh, hot mama, treat me dirty. So, uh, gotta keep this in the middle. Husband snores. Ah, uh, okay. So, this definitely falls under health issues, such as. Maybe your husband is a boxer or a wrestler and he's had his nose broken on several occasions. 
that can't be helped. Uh, my father dealt with, like, snoring because, like, obviously, his nose is broken. And my, it didn't bother my mother at all. I don't know what to tell you. Like, if your husband snores and you have issues with snoring, like, you should, like, go out of your way to, like, get specialized earplugs to get the snoring out of your ears so you can sleep properly. It's not that difficult. I mean, like, these plugs only cost somewhere like 5 to $10 US just to get, like, quite a couple of earplugs in one little container. So, if the husband snores, uh, it's up to, like, the husband and wife work things out in the bed. I mean, like, if she has problems with it, you know, buy her earplugs. If she doesn't, you know, uh, and your health issues makes you snore, it's gonna happen. Even when you're sick, even when a man is uh, sick with the flu or the common cold or something like that, they snore because their nose gets closed off in bed, okay? So this does not dignify a response. Compares the wife comfortably to his mother or other wives. No, 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 no. Oh, for Bahamut's sake in the sky, no. Oh, God, biggest mistake you could do. Finish. Well, now. Well, well, well. A 67.5% a superior husband. Oh, my dear God in heaven. Ladies and gentlemen, amongst the VTubers of my I generation, I am the perfect husband, or at least superior. I am superior. Everyone else is inferior. Fear me! <laughs> ah, yeah! Okay, so this is the end of this video. I'm going to post this on my Twitter, my Facebook, obviously, my blogger Facebook. You people are just so inferior. Yes. Oh, victory for Commander Lionheart. <laughs> ah, suck it. I am outie. Hey, everyone. Don't forget to hit the like and subscribe. Tell me how much y'all thought of the video. Furthermore, don't forget overall to show me some love by clicking on the video to the left. Top left, you got a video. Bottom left, you got a stream. Later, everyone. I'm going to start twerking.